nice. Cool. Let me uh, get that over here. Oh. God, I'm babysitting dogs, so we're gonna have some yapping in the background, probably. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. Now, I have done this sort of stream before, um, but ended up not making the video but this time i think i'm i think i'm good and and i wanted to wait until i was comfortable enough um to do this and i felt like i could make a good video so here we are uh we're gonna start with technique and just talking about uh technique and for this uh stream i'm, I'm just gonna be kind of like recording videos um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and uh Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. So Holly Bailey being the best aerial is quite a claim. I'm gonna do some uh, some narration there, uh, and then probably over some B-roll. So let's get that. Um. Gosh, it. I love this new. Um, they just added this to. Um. OBS. It's a VLC plugin, so I get to uh, you know, scrum through the uh, B-roll. I not have. Um, I should have. I added it. All right, hold on. It should be. No. Okay, well, it's not in here, which is silly. Oh, that's because it's a WebM file. All right, let's change that real quick. Let's see. So right now, I'm just I just have to change the uh, file so I can have some B-roll. It'll take like a couple of seconds. You have to react to Rogue Wave versus Rofu. It's the best thing I've heard in a while. I full, uh, I fully intend to actually. Um, Eclipse is not available again this coming week, so I'll probably do like a like a viewer request post or something like that. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll be the first time I've done anything like that in a really really long time. So I hope people like that because it cost me it cost me a lot on views to do that, but. Um, yeah, sometimes I just want to do things I want to do. <laughs> All right, so is this taken care of? No. How many more seconds? Dang, that's fast. It'll take a bit. I'm sure it would. I'm sure it would. Probably what I could do is after... I have a Discord stream where I'm doing Mariah. And what I might do is I might do another live stream today where I... I just like try to make a playlist of, of beatboxing things, um, like of current events and stuff like that. Have you guys pick it out? Almost done, guys. I use a very, very fast video editor, but uh, it'll take some time. Ah, uh, oof. Uh, Myura, I. I, I, I feel like Indian classical singing is so specific and technical and very, man, the way that Indian music theory approaches melody is kind of crazy. Um, I know that there is a woman on YouTube in how many hours? Oh, it would be like five hours, man. It would, it would be some time. Um, have I heard Drake's new album? I actually don't listen to Drake at all. <laughs> Um, not for any real reason, I uh, just like, when it comes to hip hop and rap, I like have a, like a little box. I have like, uh, like Wu-Tang, Clan, Eminem, basically anything from the nineties, Biggie, um, P Daddy. I, he changed his name so many times. I don't even know, but yeah, I, I, I could do Drake. I just don't think I'd have a lot to say, but getting back to it, you were saying Myra, uh, Myra, and if I'm Myuri, 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 if I get it wrong, just correct me. Um, 
What I would do, what I would really love to do is I'd do, there's a, there's a person who is an authority who's an Indian singer, and she talks about Indian uh, theory and ragas and all that stuff, and I would love to listen and just watch and then share that experience of me learning uh, about that because I think it's so intricate, and I think Indian music theory does a way better job um, describing and analyzing melody, which, you know, Western theory is a lot more about harmony, and so we don't have a lot of good explanations for melody within that framework, so it's best to kind of go to another theory, I think. And what's up, just some random guy with dreads? All right, are we done? Not yet. This one's taking particularly long, but I kind of need this one. Uh, in the meantime, let's just pick up, let's bring up. Is this the one? Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Um. Do I want to? Hmm. Debating if I want to actually. Cause I have that here. This is super cool. I love this about um. Gosh. You can get a whole bunch of clips. And B-roll and stuff. This is Jody Benson. Yeah. This is Jody Benson. Uh, kind of making my eyes bleed, this fidelity right here. Um, I might do, here's what I'll do, a little black color. Color source, like this thing black. I'll put that behind. And then we'll get this and this little situation. Ugh, oh, it still looks pretty awful, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> I think that's an example of polishing a turret. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, that's all right. I'll just maximize it. Or like, I, I don't know, maybe I could do it like... I don't know. We'll see. When this thing is done. I need my B-roll. Holly singing. Uh, what was it? she sang in front of the Disney castle it was I don't remember it was a Disney tune <laughs> I did a video on it but I have brain farts and a terrible memory so. <sighs> um, and I'm wondering if I should do a backing track like I should keep the music probably not I can edit and post all right, let me just add, like, the stuff, and then I can maybe do it on, on B-roll. It's almost done. All right, screw it. I'll keep the music on. All right. I also do some other parts of the text. There we go. I don't say that in the disparaging way. Fit with the roll. Yeah, all right, I think that'll just be the video right there and I'll pat it out with some of the good clips I have. Done. Oh my God, FFmpeg. This is the slowest you've ever been in my life. I don't have my intro. Oh, it's whatever. Put it up in post. We'll switch around is there. Twenty seconds. That's a bad habit that I get into. I have a really tight back and really tight hips, so often like this gets um my uh the top of my larynx gets pulled down from my lats. So I have really tight lats, and so that brings everything down. It's not good. You don't want that. So that'll that'll go from like I bring it down. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. I bring it down.
little town. It's a quiet village. And that may not sound so bad, but it's kind of stuffed and, and difficult. Whereas if I'm loose. Little town, it's a quiet village every day. Right, big difference there, big difference. Are you done, video? Two seconds, is it? Is it two seconds? How long is it? Indeed, two seconds. Sweet, boop, here we go, let's start. Um. Really? Really? We're gonna do that? Alright. Okay, well first things first is we need the B-roll. Wow, I magnified that a lot. Alright. It's the first time I'm doing something like this live in a while, so I'm excited. Gosh, it does I'm not sure if it's going to take into account the recent video that I have on it. It should. But it didn't. Weird. Um, I'll just throw it in there manually then. Mission on Earth. Alright. Um, and then mute the audio. And that should work. Yeah, cool. Alright. Um, and then we'll go to... There we go, that'll be good. And then we zoom that sucker in. All right, and then we start to narrate. Mm. You know, um. All right. Halle Bailey being the best aerial is quite the claim. But I don't say that to disparage the other aerials. Jody Benson and Sierra Bogus did a fantastic job. But Ali Bailey is better for the role objectively. Let's fuck that one up on the end there. All right, try that again. Um, okay. Stop you. Fine. Halle Bailey being the best aerial is quite the claim. But I'm not saying this to disparage Jody Benson or Sierra Boggess. What I am saying is that Halle Bailey is more appropriate for the role in every way possible. Okay, and now we get the examples of that and the justifications of that. Um, uh, Jody Benson. That's the Gosh, it did. For. Little mer. Actually, let's do this. This will work. Um, do I have? I think I can do that. I think I can fade it. Um, Disney princesses tend to be, well, young, very young. And so the problem with this being young is that ideally you want a young teenage singer, which uh, Jody Benson was not. I thought I muted you. 
No, I did not. I have it on monitor. All right. It's not, and then we gotta get to Jody Benson. Is this her? Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Put that in like the corner there. And then mute this. Uh, let's go further. Jody Benson, during her role as Ariel, was 28 years old. And you might think, well, that's just a couple years off. It's actually, you know, almost a decade past what it is to be a teenager. So it's pretty significant. Uh, if I'm uh, if I'm there, let's check if the audio is playing. Jody Ben significant. And then um do we go back to the um let's see here pause the Roonies. Bring that back to max. Okay. Now we go through again. I don't think I have another aerial. Um, I don't. All right, let's fix that. I need an aerial clip. All right. Need part of your world. And I can download this super fast. I love uh, world. I can do this nutty fast because I have the hacks. I have the leet, leet hacks. Let's see. And it's done. That's how quick it takes me to download a thing. Except that was the wrong link. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, and that should be in WebM format. It is. Of course it is MP4, but here we go. Is this it? I don't yeah. see how... Um, let's put this on... Uh, I just put the monitor on, right? Yeah, so we just do monitor only. Awesome. Uh, what did I finish with last? What was the thing I did last here? Let's take a look. What was the last point that I made? Let's see. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, she sounds amazing as Ariel. What are you talking about? No, let's unmute it. In order to get that sound, Jody Benson has to make some compromises in order to fit that tone. And so she's a little bit less flexible in what tone qualities she can get, as lovely as that tone is. But in order to achieve that, she needs to use what's called the Disney technique. So let's jump into that. I see if I can. I think I have the good examples in the. I don't see. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Not you. 
get me banned from YouTube, thank you. No. Um. Let's see. Um. I guess we can do it here. In order to get the Disney princess sound, you kind of need to do this technique. It's a mix between classical singing and a raised larynx. It's uh, very specific. And if you don't do that, you end up sounding like this. Beautiful as me. So which is a lowered larynx in combination with a uh, classical singing technique. The Disney technique is extremely, extremely effective. It allows anybody of any age to sound significantly younger. And it's quite simple. All you need to do is swallow first, right? And you're going to see that the larynx kind of goes up. And you can hold it there. Hi, my name is Lesage Singing, and I have a high larynx. Very effective, right? Little town, it's a quiet village every day. Right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. Need to think that sounds useful. And what was my next point? Um okay, and then we need to show Holly Bailey being a boss. Bounce. Allowing her to get this technique in without needing oh to compromise her vocals. Nice. Uh, will do. Um. So the big difference here is that Holly Bailey doesn't have to do the raised larynx technique to get a, a youthful sound because uh, she's young, youthful even. So she is 22 years old as of right now, as, the, as of the making of this video. Whereas Jody Benson, once again, 28 years old. And it's okay to be old. It's just that uh, vocally, you're not going to sound as good unless you make compromises. Like, you know, a higher larynx. Whereas, you know, if you don't do that, you'll sound older. And in the most extreme example... I'm definitely gonna have to edit these down. <laughs> I think it was actually early. Yeah, no, that was it. And I want to get as a specimen. I am intimidating. And then it's after this. I think it's right here. Yeah. No. Uh, a little further in. Yeah, here we go. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. So again, that's the higher larynx technique. Yes, as a specimen, I am intimidating. 
versus like totally blot out opera in more like a speech like way. Yes, as a specimen, I am intimidating. Right. So even if Jody Benson can do that, she just can't get those lower luscious notes without sounding like she's 28. Bailey giving aerial vocals. There was a belt thing Bailey here in this one. I think it was this. No, it's more classical. Ariel does belt. Um, these are all great performances though <laughs> like now i'm mad about these um that might that doesn't look like a belt still um this let's see make sure i don't get dmca'd here hold on boop doop 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 switch it up Uh, whatever. I have some. I have the recording of her belting. Um, so I'll just uh, leave that clip. In a little bit, we'll uh, we'll get into actually DaVinci Resolve. We'll start editing this video and slapping it together, and it'll be great. But uh, so there is a famous part of part of your world that is often done with a belt, and uh, Halle Bailey can do that very easily. But you might be thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, Lesage. What about Sierra Vargas, the queen of belt? She's a musical theater goddess diva. She played Ariel. What are you talking about? Well, the, the same thing is relevant here in that I don't think Sierra Vargas is someone who sounds like, you know, she's a teenager because she is so good at belting. And then let's find that. Much love and respect to Sierra Bogus. Is it? No, that's part of your world. That is extremely loud. I think this is this is it. Um, yeah. I love it. Sierra Bogus is a fucking. I mean, Sierra Bogus sounds great. Like, you can't be mad about that. That's amazing. But it's still not a teenager. Whereas when we look at Holly Bailey, she has all of that and more. Did I say Holly? I think I said Holly there. I mean, Sierra Bogus at Holly Bailey, she has all of that. And when we look at Holly Bailey, I was on the edge there. I almost said Holly. Holly. All right. What points did I not go through? Um, uh, okay. So those are all my A-roll points and B-roll points. And I also have some, some analyses from my previous video uh, that I'm going to bring in here. So, um, let me, is this it? Yeah, okay, this is it. And then let's take the, um, window capture and nuke the display. And then we're going to go to window capture, YouTube, and then this will be DaVinci. Yeah, there we go, resolve. Uh, oof, I don't want these effects on it though. Let's filter is. There we go. I'll just get that max in there. Voila. Um. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let the editing begin. Um. Never mind. Let me add the scene. Scene capture. There we go. 
And we'll do the YouTube one, bada bing. And there we are. Put the window on top. Okay. So, do we have the audio source? We do. Okay. All right. So that much is our kind of like A roll there. Um, well, let's see. Beans. We'll put that up top and then we'll do this. So now I can actually record or edit, rather. So most definitely we're going to start with, uh, okay, dogs, you all can chill out now. Yeah. You all can chill out. Uh, Halle Bailey being the best Ariel is quite the claim, but I'm not saying this to disparage Jodie Benson or Sierra Boggess. What I am saying is that Halle Bailey is more appropriate for the role in every way possible. Uh, let's get rid of that. What I am saying is... And you can um, still we need context for these clips. Disney princesses tend to be well young, very young. And so the problem with this well young. Zoom there. Young, very young. Get a little ridiculous with the zoom. <laughs> Silly. All right. Young, very young. Um, my auto, this is where my auto jump cut betrays me. Very young. Very young. And so the problem with this being young is that ideally you want a young teenage singer, which uh, Jody Benson was not. And you can even. Mm, Jody Benson was not. All right. Uh, so let's get a good clip of Ariel doing, or uh, Halle Bailey doing Ariel. Um, got her soft pad, soft pad lifted. Chloe's got it. Kind of droop. She'll move it around, and then you have the different lip positions, and that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post production. I mean, that sounds so good. That'll work. Princesses tend to be, well, young, very young. It needs to be smoother. Very young. Very young. Um, boy, I think I'm going to need to put something over that. That's just way too abrupt. Um, so let's do that. Some B-roll. And then we'll kind of dig that in. Um, mute this. Uh, zoom. Okay. No. Let's go over here. So again, any any questions or anything you guys want to know? Just is just like a live stream where I'm, you know. Making a video. Young, <laughs> very young. And then I can do this. And this. And then slow that down as a matter of fact. Speed change. Young. Very young. And so... And 
very young. And so the problem with this being young is that ideally you want a young teenage singer, which uh, Jody Benson was not. And you can even... Uh, and then I wanted to put the clips right here. Boosh! It's not. I mean, that sounds so good. All right. And then the next point was... I'm doing... All right. Um, the next clip, I believe. The next point was... Roll. Um, and then we had Disney Technique was the next one. Jodie Benson, during her role as Ariel, was 28 years old. And you might think, well, that's just a couple years off. It's actually, you know, almost a decade past what it is to be a teenager. So it's pretty significant. Okay. Um, I, mean, I mean, that sounds so good. And then we bring this in. Oh, good. Jody Benson during her. Jody Benson during her role as Ariel was 28 years old. And you might think, well, that's just a couple years off. It's actually, you know, almost a decade past what it is to be a teenager. So it's pretty significant. And you can even see it in their mouth. Um, and same with Chloe. This clips here. She's tilting her thigh right in the out tension. Put just a little bit of tension. You can like opera vibrato. I fucking talk too much. Hallie's got her soft pad lifted. Chloe's got it kind of droop. She'll move it around. And then you have the different lip positions. And that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. Okay. Um, I think the next talking point is what I should do. Um, sounds really, really good. Joey Benson is not young. Not to be an ageist a-hole, but, you know. All right. Just trying to make a point. You might be thinking to yourself, well, she sounds amazing as Ariel. What are you talking about? No, let's unmute it. <laughs> no, let's unmute it. Stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be. Um, let's do a fade. I'm gonna do a fade transition. Do I need to go in this to do a fade transition? I think I do. That's the trim. Video transitions. Let's do like a nice dissolve. Wish I could be. In order to get that. Uh... Let's move this. Actually, let's just get rid of the transition right now. Um, yeah. Not there. And then we'll do the transition as well. Um, I I have a name twin in here. Oh, there's another Camille. Nice. Also, how are you, Camille? I'm glad I'm doing the live streams again because I love I love like seeing you know the, the regular names and talking to people. Um, we need another transition. Oops, that's the that's the wrong one. Oop, there we go. Um, or dissolve. We'll do that. Set that up. In order to get that sound, 
too long of a transition, but it's nice. All right. Tony Benson has to make some compromises in order to fit that tone, and so she's a little bit less flexible in what tone qualities she can get, as lovely as that tone is. But in order to achieve that, she needs to use uh, the board here. tone qualities she can get. As lovely as that tone is. Oh, uh, wow. I am running a potato. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, do I have anything I can close? I can close that, and I can close this. This is eventually I need to upgrade my PC because like it is. And then inspector dynamic zoom. Let's go in and then voila. As lovely as that tone is, but in order to achieve that, she needs to use what's called the Disney. Oh, we'll add some text there. <sighs> um, titles lower third. And then that's just going to be Disney. Get rid of. Eh, actually, we'll do this. Uh, size. There we go. And then push. Okay. She needs to use what's called the Disney technique. We have an animation that we can get in there. I wonder. Um. Huh. The inspector work. Let's see. Position, drop shadow, background. All right. This we can't do, but we're not going to do uh, open sands. We're going to do Montserrat extra bold. Because that is, there we go. That is brand consistent. I'm good. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing really well. Uh, the channel is doing okay. I took a, a while off what's called the Disney technique. Because I was, so let's know, jump in. Getting, I was getting married. Disney technique. Um, let's get another clip there. Uh, Do I have another? No. Yeah, I've been. So I got married. I mean, I was married before, like, but like we had a, we couldn't have a ceremony because of COVID. So my wife had planned the ceremony for like four years and finally we got to do it. So I couldn't exactly, <laughs> I couldn't exactly like complain about that. You know what I mean? Like I'd be I'd come across as like a huge a hole. Um, you know, but it took me away from, from working on the channel. Uh, and so that's, that's always nerve wracking, you know? Uh, when you're, um, really can't add this. I just can't like, what? Not? um, I guess I have to add it into the media first. Come on. Wow. Lag, 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 lag. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, um, couldn't work on, on videos. And so I got way, 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 way behind. And so it'll probably take like a month to get to, where I was before, which is okay. Um, this is what I want. Um, and then boosh. There we go. And then voila. Disney, Disney princess is ten. And then mute that. So let's jump into that. And then let's zoom this. Inspector, dynamic zoom. Uh, position. Nice. Disney technique. So let's jump into that. Uh, let's fade that out. Um, what? No, not that one. There we go. Um, fade that out. Yeah, so I, I like, I've been trying to get to a point where, um, 
There we go. There we go. So I'm I'm trying to get to a point where I'm uploading a uh, hundred times a month, which sounds a lot harder than it actually is. I've automated so much of the process of making videos. So and let's zoom in here a little bit. That. That. Uh, why is it? Right, it's too zoomed in. Okay. Let's go back to the inspector. Um, position. Uh -huh. And then let's move this a little bit. Okay. Cool. Let's try that again. Disney technique. So let's jump into that. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this. And then, uh, it's not very clear, so I want to get the drop shadow in there. Um, nice. Background. Um, capacity. How do I, what? Wait, okay. Uh, interesting. Um, that is not what I thought. <laughs> That's not what I thought that was going to do. Um, and then how do I change its position? And then, uh, where do I get, um, screw it. Oosh, the drop shadow is enough. Let me just intensify, intense the, make the color a bit more intense. Um, can I? No? Okay. What about the blur? All right. Oh, whatever. Ah, uh, wait. Does it look better with the blur? No. Okay. There we go. Cool. Disney technique. So let's jump into that. When uh, Disney technique. Okay. Now we talked about we talked about the raised larynx, and then I had this other clip that I was going to use. I had this somewhere. I had this somewhere. It was one of the first ones that I had. Disney technique. Come on, footage. Come on. It was the um, NPR tiny desk. I want that uh, NPR tiny desk. I'm gonna have to grab it for my clips. Which is all right. Um, clips. All right. Let's put that in here. Where did I put all this? Where did I have my my footage here? There it is. Okay. All right. Disney technique, yada yada. Jump into that, and then let's get my talking about that. In order to get the Disney princess sound, you kind of need to do this technique. It's a mix between classical singing and a raised larynx. It's uh, very specific. And if you don't do that, you end up sounding like this. As beautiful as me. So which is a lowered larynx in combination with a uh, classical singing tape. Cool. This is actually pretty good on its own.
Um, whoa, 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 where'd that, where'd that, uh, in order to get the Disney princess sound, you kind of need to do this technique. It's a mix between classical singing and a raised larynx. It's, uh, very specific. And if you don't do that, um, let's do text, lower third, um, lower here. Um, and then I like that drop shadow. Uh, if I recall, it would look better without the blur. And then I'll go down there. There we go. Um, and then that's good. It's uh, very specific. And if you don't do that, you end up sounding like this. As beautiful as me. So which is a lowered larynx in combination with a uh, classical singing technique. The Disney technique is extremely, extremely effective. It allows anybody of any age to sound significantly younger. And it's quite simple. Okay, okay. Let me get to this. There we go. All you need to do is quite simple. All you, all you need to do see. If anyone has any questions or anything, all I you am need checking to do to that is swallow first, right? And you're going to see that the larynx kind of goes up and you can hold it there. Hi, my name is Lesage Singing and I have a high larynx. Very effective, right? Little town, it's a quiet village every day, right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. When she. Mm, youthful. Um, and then this is where I'd want to add this. There we go. And you can even see it in their mouth shapes. Um, so when you, when you, if I, I'll show you, when you contract, or not, uh, I guess contract your cheeks, whatever, and you can even see it in their mouth shapes. Um, so when you, when you, if I, I'll show you, when you contract, or not, uh, I guess contract your cheeks, whatever, when you, when you open your mouth wider, open your mouth wider you'll get brighter sound when you when you soften your lips you'll get a darker sound think of it like a trombone right and then let's get some of her singing in this one we roll a lot I get that nice image. That'll work. Let's. That'll work. Let's get the can in there. Whoops. There we go. Wish I didn't have a potato for computer. Ah, no, come back. Right. Um, let's do an audio crossfade. Audio transitions, crossfade right here, and then, um, where is that? There we go. 
So where's that audio? Sweet. Come on. Come on. That's the audio one? No, that's the, uh, that's the different one. Where's the audio? No, that's the text. <laughs> All right. Um, where are you at, Crossfade? Oh, great. I have to move that back. Epic fails. Larynx. It's uh, very specific. There we go. And if you don't do, do that, you end up sounding like this. As beautiful as me. So which is a lowered larynx in combination with a uh, classical singing technique. Okay, and then this I get rid of. Classical singing technique. Technique! Uh, every day, right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. I like that pause. Let's keep it awkward. Right. Youthful. And you can even see it in their mouth shapes. M open your mouth wider, you'll get brighter sound. When you when you soften your lips, you'll get a darker sound. Think of it like a trombone, right? Inspector. I'm much happier with my uh, with my pacing. Like this feels like it's a good video. <laughs> I mean, like obviously we'll see what the internet thinks, but I'm really I'm really um uh I'm I'm super hoping that. Like, I can live up to, I think, the importance of the topic. Let's see if that is... You can use a little bit more of that. There we go. Um, let's fade to make that less awkward. Uh, let's go in a little bit. VA.mp4 is where uh, There we go. Um, crossfade there. Crossfade right there. How do I switch that around? Um, fade out. Is that it? No. How do I even? Fade out. Zero. Um, how am I going to get you to do that? All right. Okay, print crossfade in. Oh. These are some things I've never really used, and uh. There we go. Let's see. No, I think I have to do it here. You get what I want. Um. Right. We'll get a darker sound. Think of it like a trombone, right? Okay. And then we do that. Um. And then the crossfade. See that right there? Perfect. Trombone, right? You bring in the trombone. 
like a trombone, right? You bring in the trombone. Um, trombone, right? You bring in the trombone. Think of it like a trombone, right? Right in the knot. Cool. All right, that works. Uh, now let's do this. I think I can get it to where I have... Nope. Okay, that's not available in the cut. Yep. When she has brought... Uh, where's my next point? Oh man, I'm only two minutes in. <laughs> this is a lot of work for so little a time, but oh, worth, worth, worth. Uh, explain the Disney technique. And then the blending. I need to that one for the blending. Auto, that's when it's tilted with on your Soft pad lifted, Chloe's got it kind of droop. She'll move it around. And then you have the different lip positions. And that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post production. Then you have the different lip positions. Okay. Hey, apples, what's good, man? Dog sitting. Is that right on the money? It looks right on the money. And then you have the different lip position. And then you have the. And then here we go. Let's get that transition back. And then video transition dissolve. I know, guys. I know. Then you have the different lip positions, and that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. Yeah. When she has vibrato, that's when it's tilted noises. without tension. But if you tilt your thyroid cartilage and put just a little bit of tension, you can only really do this in your in your bottom, oh. in your middle. Oops. So if I do, uh, oops. Um, <laughs> looks like the mail's here. Roop! Be right back. I need to get the mail. I lost my mail key, so I was supposed to answer the door, and I didn't, and that's why all the doggos bark. Lucy, I gotta, I gotta get in here. I gotta get in here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit you. Come on. I know you're so cute. I know you're, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, there we go. Safe. This new dog is like terrified of my other dog. Uh, my dog is trying to behave herself. 
lip positions. And that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. When she... All right. Then you have the different lip positions. And that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. And then let's get the sound of that. Um, I should have... Wow, my feet hurt from going outside. Um, I always, I always, whenever I take the, because I live in such a hot area, whenever I take the dogs outside, um, I, uh, I make sure that I have my bare feet, um, and my bare feet, like, burned from the, uh, from the, um, concrete outside. It was so hot. Like, I feel, I feel the burn on my feet, so... <laughs> it's just such a silly thing. You think I would just be like, "Nah, I'll go outside, guys." But man, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Um. Uh, what was there? It was the national anthem. Yeah. Please. And then let's do that. My feet are killing me. I got those dogs right back in immediately. Holy crud, it is hot out. Got a bunch of heat waves going on. My feet are stinging. Youch. Uh... Um... Alexa, play fire under my feet. <laughs> I don't I don't have an Alexa. I don't I don't let Amazon spy on me. Makes me feel better about myself, even though I'd probably save way more time in my life if I just used one. Um There we go. This is the one. Where did I put you? No. No. Where? Which way did you go? Guess you didn't go anywhere. All right. Let's just shove that in there then. Instead of putting it in media. Why not? Is this because it's a WebM? Yeah, it's because it's a WebM. All right. Um. I need to, whenever I do the download, I need to force it as an MP4. Oh. When she has vibrato, that's when it's tilted without tension. Right. Um, really well without any post production. And then, so, uh, I had text here. She's done this all her life. Um,. Um, okay, there we go. Actually, um, let me get actually a lower left sample. Come on, zoom out of touch. There we go. And then she's done this. I want to build uh, Montserrat Extra Bolt. Extra Bolt. There we go. And then let's get that position a little lower. What? Where's that position? Lower, lower, lower. Closer to the left. We want the drop shadow. There we go. All right, let's see if that works. And that allows them to blend together 
really, really well without any post-production. When she... And that allows them to... Um... Let's see... Why? I want you to have more of this. And that oh no 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 that's why I brought that's why I downloaded the uh, other one. I'll have to look at that. <sighs> yeah, I'm editing it. Um, I filmed it just like a little bit ago, but I'm editing it and I'm trying to make it like really nice. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this in parts, right? I'm gonna do the technique. I'm gonna do like acting. I'm gonna do a bunch of other ones and um, then put it all together for one video. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm editing this one um i just want people to see the process if they so choose to want to see that process um let's see cut Go. Back we had all thing Oh, beautiful. Alrighty. And that'll... That allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. Okay, cool. Where did my... Whoa! That deleted everything beforehand. I didn't want that. Oh, no, that is where I was at. Um, yeah, so I have you, the... When you soften your lips, you'll get a darker sound. Think of it like a trombone, right? And that allows them to blend together. Uh, that's a little abrasive, even with the transition. See if that's too long, just barely long enough. Uh, let's get some transitions. I actually have like a piece of paper stuck to my um, <laughs> stuck to my uh, um, uh, my monitor to denote uh when I have um when I have something that's too long. And that allows them to blend together. Where is my audio fade? Come on now. Okay. Yep. And that allows them. To uh. And that allows them. To um. Oh, no, that's still the text. Uh, I want this. Where's this? No, that is the transition. Um, what's the video transition? Where's the audio one? Uh, how to dissolve. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I think I'm just going to get rid of it. And then make sure I got the... Why? Why don't you want to put a uh, crossfade in there? What is wrong with you? Ah. That's because it's on the wrong one. Got it. And then let's just do a blur. End of that. There we go. Just to be with you. And that allows them to blend together nice. really, really well without any post-production. Post-production. There we go, another crossfade. Any post-production. And then... All right. Um... Okay, now we're done with that. Uh, not just the Disney technique. Sounds some belting. 
Uh, so we're going to get into the Sierra Bogus. And this one. Uh huh. Sierra Bogus. Let's see. So again, that's the higher larynx technique. Yes, as a specimen, I am intimidating versus like totally blot out opera in more like a speech like way. Yes, as a specimen, I am intimidating. Right? So even if Jody Benson can do that, she just can't get those lower luscious notes without sounding like she's 28. Okay. Not what I wanted. Oh, well, as a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. Yes. Yes. Once again, 20. Where did I end off my fucking head? So the big difference here. Soften your lips, you'll go. <laughs> right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. And you can even see it in their mouth shape. They sound significantly younger. And it's quite simple. All you need to do is swallow first, right? And you're going to see that the larynx kind of goes up. And you can hold it there. Hi, my name is Lesage Singing, and I have a high larynx. Very effective, right? Little town, it's a quiet village every day. Right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. And you can. Um. Sounds youthful. I'll put that in there. Uh. Is this the one where it sounds useful? Pretty significant. Now, you might be thinking Disney technique. Okay, so then. In order to get the Disney princess. There we go. Youthful. Um, okay. Let's do this. As a specimen. Um, um, it's your cut. Oh my goodness. I might have to answer to my wife for not answering the phone. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. Um, and then I actually just want to take a color black and then put the text. <laughs> like, um, that would be really cool if I just do that. Uh, where can I get a just a black color? Um, I think I have one. And my assets. Uh, colors. I think I just have solid colors. Podcast scripts, transition lab. So really, I don't have just like a black thing. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a black thing. Yes, her name twin. I'm glad. I'm glad we can differentiate though. Um. Uh, save images. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I, I got, I got it. I got what I have to use here. Hold on, this is important. Uh. But that's not all. Um, is it the Sham Wow guy? Uh, or? not all um this is it oxyclean removing power of your to get a scoop of oxyclean to every little of the things that you love don't just clean the damaging effects of it goes deep down things disappear like magic it's amazing Watch how OxyClean unleashes the power of oxygen. <laughs> I really want this. Uh, Billy May, that's not all. Hi. Stains, food stains, they get down into the matting. Make it 10 times as powerful. 
Sometimes soaking is the clothes. OxyClean without the damaging just isn't enough to clean. Laundry is brighter. Grass stains, clay, millions of our two and a half. We'll cut the price squirt bottle. Our two and a half pound tub. It's the best. Grass stains, clay stains. Long live your laundry. OxyClean, the stain specialist. We've sold millions of our two. But if you call now, we'll cut the price in half. Only $19.95. You'll also receive the bottle and the super chamois absolutely free. If you call during this show, you are world famous orange clean. Through the grease and the grime, with the oven or caked on the stove. You get all this for just $19.95, but call in the next 20 minutes and we'll supersize your OxyClean from a two and a half pound tub to a whopping six pound bucket. Nearly triple the amount. Now, here's how to order. See the ShamWow, uh, ShamWow guy. Hi, it's Finn. For everyday use, this lasts ten years. This lasts a week. I don't know. It sells itself. The ShamWow sells for. There's your mildew. That is gonna smell. See that? The most. Absurd. We're gonna do this in real time. Look at this. Put on the spill. Turn it over without even putting any. We make good stuff. You can cut it in half. Use one as a bath mat. Drain your dishes with the other. one. 50% of the cola starts wet or dry. This is for the house. Right. It just bring it out. The Germans always. I'm I'm live. I'm filming. I'm... So just a heads up. I'm gonna close the door for you, okay? okay. Trying to get that that quote. What? Wait. There's more. As a bath mat, drain your dishes with the other one. Use one as a towel. Olympic divers, they use it as a towel. Look at that, completely dry. Put a wet sweater. Cola. Not only is the damage going to be on, it's going to smell. See that? The most absurd. We're going to do this in real time. Look at this. Put on the spill. Turn it over. Without even putting any pressure, 50% of the cola right there. You following me, camera guy? The other 50%, the cola is going to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at it. See what I'm telling oh, you? Come on. Bathroom. But if you call now, Come on, but wait, there's more. That's what I need. Come on, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. But I'm not done yet. That'll work. I just, it's got to be Billy May. It's got to be Billy May. We want to do this right. Uh, let me be rolling this. Uh okay, and then I'll make let's see there's Billy May. There we go. Let's see, and then we'll change that. Have another fucking pug? Yeah, I do. Alright, I'm gonna throw that in there. Good. We got what we we're got what we we're looking for. So youthful. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. And you can. Mm-hmm. Hey, right? Not bad. Sounds youthful. As, a... As opposed to go. Um, as opposed to <sighs> um, that'll work. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. And you can even see it in their mouth shapes. M open your mouth wider, you'll get bright. Right, there we go, and that's where I want to put the butt weight. There's more. Oh, but that's not all. But I'm not done yet. See it in But I'm not done yet. See it. Um. Want it to be jarring, but not that jarring. There we go. But I'm not done yet. See it in their mouth. Shape. Um. Let's see. Come on, cut. 
Don't do me dirty. Yes. See it in their mouth shapes. Even see it in their mouth shapes. Um, there we go. Let's transition there. But I'm not done yet. Even see it in their mouth shapes. Um, not done yet. Even see it in their mouth shapes. M open your mouth wider. You'll get brighter sound when you when you soften your lips. You'll get a darker sound. Think of it like a trump. Bone, right? Just a little bit less. Where's my cut? Right? You bring in the trombone. Think of it like a trombone, right? You bring in the trombone. And that allows. And then. Another crossfade. Um, let's get rid of the crossfade if I can. Okay. Sorry, let me bring up my stream stuff. And that allows them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. To blend together really, really well without any post-production. Um, no, let me do this. Using... Okay. ...use them to blend together really, really well without any post-production. All right, uh, I'm gonna end in four minutes. I don't think I can finish this today, but I'm getting close. Um, on me. All right, and then we have what is this? Um, okay, then it's just going to be belting. Okay, let's see what I have left here. Four minutes. Got to get myself another coffee, and then I have a Mariah Carey stream on Discord. So, um, there is a famous part of part of your world that is often done with. Oops. So again, that's the higher larynx. Yay. So again, that's the higher larynx technique. Yes, as a spec. Yes, as a spec. So even if Jody Benson can do that, she just can't get those lower luscious notes without sounding like she's 28. Um. So yeah. Um. So again, that's the. So. so um. Thus, as a specimen, I am intimidating. I love that line. It's so absurd. There we go. And then we'll fade there. And then we'll get into... Oh, my posture is really bad. Sounding like she's 28. And then that needs to get cut. There is a famous part of part of your world that is often done with a belt. And uh, Halle Bailey can do that very easily, but you might be thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, Lesage. What about Sierra Boggess, the queen of belt? She's a musical theater goddess diva. She played Ariel. What are you talking about? Well, the, the same. And then I'll add that here. About what? Oh, no, 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 no. I think I put it in. Yeah, no, I clipped this already. I don't know where it is, though. What are you talking about? Same thing is relevant here in that I don't think Sierra Bogus is someone who sounds like, you know, she's 
a teenager because she is so good at belting. Um, um yep. cut that. Then... I mean, Sierra Bacchus sounds great. Like, you can't be mad about that. That's amazing. But it's still not a teenager. Whereas when we look at Holly Bailey, she has all of that and more. And then I'm going to zoom in here. Let's get the inspector going. And more. And more. Okay. Um, two, and then... themselves are there to thicken the sound. Let's see. And you can even see it in their mouth, the darker sound. There's more. Um, close might have been done. Okay. I think I'm good. Um, I think I can finish it with. I think I can finish it here. Please welcome oh. Grammy. That's the business right there. That's going to be, um, uh, uh, this is 50 seconds in. Okay, so that's four. Okay, it's going to be like a minute in. Yeah. There we go. And then I just have to add. Come on, come on. Here we go, give me that fade. And then. Okay, uh, pull that. Okay, I'll do that. Turn on the inspector, turn it off, and more. And then cut that. Fade out again. Fade out again. All right. Um. Technique, belting. I think that finishes my point, right? Across other techniques as well. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. And this is just for technique. There are other things that make Holly Bailey a lot more qualified than pretty much any other singer, and definitely any other singer in the public eye. If you like this one, this is a series I'm going to do a couple of, uh, this one's really short, I'm just covering technique in this video, but I'm going to go over a couple of reasons why Halle Bailey is perfect for Ariel, and this is just one part of it. So like and subscribe if you want to see more, I guess, is what a YouTuber should do. So I guess I said that because I'm a YouTuber, I think. I don't know. I said it, though. Okay. This was the one. If you like this one, this is a series I'm going to do. And then this is it. And this is just for tech. Okay. Full beans. That ends the video.
Uh, I can always pad it out more. Um, but no. Let's see. Uh, export as good. Um, Bailey Bailey technique. Before. And then export to, uh, there we go. And then we'll upload that today. <sighs> Took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. I did not cover as much ground as I thought I would. It's only a five minute video. But there's going to be five of these types of videos. So knock on wood. Um, that's not bad. That took me, I mean, that took me an hour and 35 minutes for like filming, B roll, and everything and editing. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, all right. Okay. That is it for this stream. If you all want to come into the Discord, uh, that's in the link down below. Uh, we're going to be doing Mariah Carey in an hour and a half. We're going to go over a lot of her stuff. So I uh, hope to see you there. Um, yeah, that's it for this stream.